Hello everyone! Hello and welcome! To Let's Play Fuck You Hair! The next game in our little Nez Winter Season that we've been uh, conducting here at Beer Sinker. Hello everyone! I'm of course the Black Shadow and uh... Today we begin our journey through a real diamond in the rough I think um, for the uh, for the Nez uh, console. Uh, this game was made in 1992, courtesy of Konami. Uh, the game is based off of the uh, the sort of the TV cartoony sort of um, series of the same name uh, that had been present for a couple of years previous, folks. Um, and it surrounds our titular character as he and his crew embark to um, well, look this way, folks. Here's the backstory. Bucky is like a gallivanting space, uh, you know. Rabbit, basically. I know that sounds crazy, but go with me here. Um, and him and his crew are basically attempting to fight off the evil toad menace from evil things. That's pretty much the game in a nutshell. However, uh, I, I hadn't actually, admittedly, I hadn't never seen much of the TV series itself. But as far as the actual game's concerned, this is actually one of the few games that I've been recording that I've actually beaten. I have actually beaten this game, folks. Uh, it is very difficult uh, at times. Uh, uh, for much as it's a side-scrolling uh, platformer, um, it also has some very, very difficult sort of puzzle bits, effectively. It has some very tough parts of the game, which requires split-second precise jumps and all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, and the penalty for even the slightest failure is death. It's not an easy game, this. It's not for everyone, as far as that playing is concerned. But I think it is backed up by probably one of the best musical scores that I think the, the NES console ever had. And that's going somewhere, because the NES saw some pretty good musical scores on some consoles, as well as some pretty bad ones. But in any event, let us begin. Fuck your hair in his crew. Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, and Willy fights to save the universe from the Toad Menace. That's, there you go, backstory. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the Righteous was attacked. <gasps> the Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Well, shit. Linky is a captive on the Green Planet. Deadeye is sent to the Red Planet. Jenny is held at the blue planet, meanwhile Willie is held on the yellow planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, here. Your friends are mine. You are here. <laughs> Insert evil toad laugh here. As I said, I never actually watched the TV. I have no idea what these voices are actually like, so I'm making up as a go. As per normal. Bucky escaped the toad armada by a hair's whisker. Yeah, get used to that. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible toads. And so takes us to the first part of the game, folks. We will have to take on the evil toad menace, but before we can do that, Bucky is going to have to round up his crew first. And so the first, the, the first part of the game uh, we have here is uh, is actually a bit of choice here. We got our four planets: green, red, blue, and yellow. We must get through all four and rescue our, queue, uh, our crew, although nicely enough the game gives us full option as to what order you want to do this in. Which is nice, um, seeing as uh, our five characters all have their own specific uses and their own specialities. So, uh, through, the peer through, through a lot of time-tested, uh, um, a lot of time-tested, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, trial and error, we'll go with that. Uh, hopefully I remember how to guess go through this. Uh, now the first stage I always suggest people playing this game do is the Green Planet. By far the best planet. So let's do that. Green Planet. So, welcome to Bucky O'Hare. Now, uh, the first thing we said, of course, let's say that Bucky here has equipped with a gun. Which is very, very powerful. Um, I say very powerful, it's very useful for dealing with the evil toads. 
Um, and luckily, you fired it from once. Be careful of enemies in this game. Once you leave their spawn point on the screen, they will respawn infinitely. So, that could be important. However, um, each character that we're picking up not only has their own unique way of attacking, but also has a unique special ability. And for Bucky, his unique ability, if you hold the, uh, pad, the fire button, is a, a higher jump. Which at the moment isn't going to do a huge amount, but we can increase his power capability, so he'll be better at it. Ideal for, say, looking to get hold of something like up there. Huh. Ah, shoot. Let's try the other way. We will be needing the lives, folks. Huh. Yeah, that's very really nice. So let's get going. There are a couple ways we can take here. Stick to the other paths, folks, believe me. There is uh, some extra points there. Uh, you get an extra life every 30,000 points, folks. So uh, it's worth your time collecting this. Give it that. You can also crouch and shoot, which just affects your angle just a little bit, but it's very useful. No. Yes. Oh, down. Hit that one out there. Some more points I would like. Uh, run, man. Uh, this here is a a life uh, a life uh, replenishing focus. Uh, all your characters share the same life bar. Uh, however, not only does this restore health, but for the first two collections, it actually increase your maximum health as well, which is pretty nice. We'll be needing those to go along, believe me. Oh, I thought it was thirty thousand. I was wrong. Okay then. Ooh. Yeah, say so this is a. It helps that I've played this game a bit before in the past, but this is a very tough game. The Green Planet, I would argue, is the easiest part, is the easiest place in the game, but uh, that's probably not saying all that much. There are some brutal parts of this game. There we go. Even the Green Planet has some of them. Oh, watch out, exploding spiders! Why do they explode? Why? Why do spiders explode? Doesn't make any sense. Oh. Nope. 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 Damn bees. Nope. There we go. So this very useful as well. Um, whoa! Good dodge there. So that's very valuable to know, folks. Is um, you've got to get used to the physics of this game and what you can and can't do very early on. Uh, one thing that's very useful, folks, um, is with your legend you're climbing up, you can actually drop down. If, you, um, if you're if you on a ledge, if you crouch down and press the jump button, you'll actually jump below, which is really, really useful, that in a pinch. You will need this. Don't forget it. You guys got a gun, so a bit more stronger. Right. These branches. Yeah! Be careful here, folks. These branches, they, um... They break, which can cause problems for, like, say, that. One thing you need to learn, folks, you cannot swim in this game. Water is deadly, so be careful of that. So, yeah, so normally in this point, you'd be having some fun and games of, like, trying to trying to find your way down. It's, always, it's really difficult, so just jump down like that. Much easier. Come up. That's a power-up, folks. Now, what that will do is, as you see it, increases the power meter of the character you collect it for. Um, the, the power meters are all separate for all the different characters. Yeah, well, we got to get them first. Here we go. Huh. 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 Oh, that's a tough jump. That really is. These platforms are awfully narrow. They're narrower than they look. Right. These, you've got to be careful. If you hold on to these for too long one side, it'll just split. If you get this life up. Just edge it there. There we are. Right. Screw it up. Oh, dear. That is, that is really nervy. Right, another one up here. Yeah, the good thing of this level is there's lots of extra lives on offer if you're willing to risk it a bit. This is one of them. We have to jump down that log, it's going to come back on us, and then we've got to get up. I don't think a normal jump is going to be enough, so I've got a plan. Land on it, charge it, and up. Ha! 
yeah, we still got it, folks. We still got it. Let's ride this along. It's fun. Save as well. Gonna need that. Ooh, more luck. More, more points. Although now I've got to get back. I should really have got that log that was down there. Yes, we have got to make this jump. Uh, ooh, that's really horrible. I don't want to do that. Down. Shoot. Right, we got all re ready to jump here. Goodness me! Oh, that's horrible. Whew. We're here though. Thanks for that. There's another one up live then. I believe there's a log that we could take to go backwards, except that is a pretty tricky one to get. Gotta give it a try, boy. This is gonna be bad. Yep. Ah, yes. We're getting there, folks. Getting the hang of this pretty quickly, which is good. Bit worried I was gonna really uh, struggle to take this, but I seem to have picked things up quite nicely. Oh boy, oh boy. Please don't hit the rocks. Now, when you're going down here, there are a variety of items like that one up there, which do appear as you go along. But you've either got to know where they are or just get really lucky. There's some points there. Oh, there's a life there as well, I've missed. Uh, points there as well. Uh, uh, get out of there. For sakes. Right, next up, folks, we've got this area to traverse with some fighters taking shots at us, which is never good. But be careful of these things. If they hit you in midair, they have a habit of stopping your, um, any... If you're moving sideways, they will just stop you. So please be careful. Does it? I'm rush this. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, ow. Uh, ow. Uh, ow. Ooh, hello, everything. Give me that. Gotta try. You can jump on those, I believe. I think. You can, yes. There we are. Nice. Max power. For boss time against this guy. Please don't get hit by the rock. Ugh. Now what we gotta do with this guy is we've gotta shoot him in the back. He's um invulnerable for shooting at the front, as you guys can see here. So now don't get hit by that. Oh, there's so much to focus on. You've got the debris coming from the roof, you've got this guy. That rock hits you, you're dead. Ow. Oh, you Give it up, sir. You cannot win. Ow. Get him. Get him. When you're quite finished. Get him. Oh. Yes, got him. Nice. Woo, first stage. That was the easiest stage in the game, I think you'll find. Be very afraid. Be very afraid. That would be, for a lot of platformers, like a decent mid-game sort of level. That was our opening stage. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Captain. I rescued a toad weapon that was smashed walls of eyes and stone. Hello to Blinky, folks. Uh, now, Blink, whenever you get one of your crew members, they'll uh, give you an idea of what their special ability is. Uh, Blinky fires in a different way, and his shots can smash ice and certain bits of stone, which is pretty cool. His special power um, is a rocket pack, uh, which will basically allow him to temporarily fly. Though you do really need to charge up his power meter first a bit before it's of much use, unfortunately. But, you know, all in good time. 
and a password. 6NTZ3. So there you go, folks. If you're playing the European version of this game, look at that. I'm even giving you guys level progression. You're very welcome. Right then, so that is Green Planet Defeated, which is pretty awesome. So I suppose the question now is, where do you want to go next? Having Blinky is very useful for the Blue Planet. I don't know if I want to do the Blue Planet next though, folks. I'm trying to think who's where. Dead Eye's on the red, Jenny's on the blue, and I think Willy's on the yellow one. So I might have red and yellow mixed up. I'll have to have a think about it, folks, but I'm probably going to leave this one here. So next time on Let's Play Bucky O'Hare, uh, we're going to be carrying on and rescuing more of our teammates so we can plot the downfall of the evil toads. See you then!